He has to put something on these, but then my Evo Skies can start chaining maybe. Okay, wait, Evo Wall Breakers and the Ghost on the left, the Goblin Gang? Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be playing this brand new log bait deck I just made. If you guys enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Just going to start off with my ghost in the back. And I literally made this deck off the top of, top of my head. I did make a few improvements though based off of some wins and off of some losses if I'm being 100% honest here. I've been switching my cards around a bit, but I've been liking this one here. I'm on a pretty nice win streak here, so hopefully I can keep the win streak and maybe get top one. I'll goblin gang the bridge here. Okay, I know this guy is playing Graveyard Freeze as well. I've actually only seen this dude use Graveyard. Okay, I'm going to go for my Royal Ghost here. I do have the Cannoneer Tower, which is kind of weak against Graveyard, but if I pressure him really hard, I should be okay. He doesn't have NATO in Cycle, so I don't have to worry about the King Tower activation. Well, I'm going to get a double connection there. <laughs> nice. Yeah, this guy's not very happy about it. I'll just throw the Goblin Barrel and Fire Spirit for the Baby Dragon. This deck is super fun if you guys are looking to have, like, a nice time, I guess. Also, it's actually, like, quite good in general. I feel like it's really good at letting your opponents mess up. Like, you can, like, force out a lot of mistakes from your opponent just because it's so, like, awkward to play against this kind of deck. Okay, then Inferno Dragon's dead. I could wall breakers behind this. I just don't want him to activate the King Tower with the Tornado. So you just have to pressure with everything. Yep, he tornadoes it backwards instead of to the King Tower. Now I can throw my Goblin Barrel. And this is looking quite all right, I would say. If this guy gets one good Graveyard Freeze off, though, I can lose the game instantly. You you guys know how good Graveyard Freeze is. This Evo Skelly's here. Then Ghost on the right. I think I want to spam him, too, with the Goblin Gang. Force out the Bowler, then I'll Evo Wall Breakers on the left. Perfect! Good job forcing out the Bowler there. He had to freeze on defense. I think I might get maybe one connection. Nah, I don't. Didn't know Freeze full countered the Evo Wall Breakers, to be honest. I'll go in, though, with the Fire Spirit Barrel. Nice damage right there. Man, it's so satisfying when you get a Fire Spirit jump on the tower. It does, like, 300 damage. Okay, I'll just go for the Ghost. Ooh. And then go for the Wall Breakers on the left. And then Goblin Barrel on the right, too. I need to make sure to get damage in both lanes because I don't want to be forced into one side or else I'm probably going to lose. The Skelly's here, and then I'll go for the... Dark Goblin plus Fire Spirit for the Baby Dragon. Ghost on the left. Just keep up the pressure. I'm going to wait for the Bowler to throw the Goblin Braille. Yeah, I can throw it now. Also protect my Dark Goblin with the Goblin Gang. And then I'll go for the Wall Breakers at the bridge. That will be at least one connection. Yeah, that's one connection right there. Perfect. I'll Dark Goblin in the back. And then I'll go for my... Oops, I didn't mean to put those that early. Yikes. Okay, I'll go for the Dark Goblin. I mean, not Dark Goblin. Roll Ghost, sorry. And then I'll go for the Goblin Barrel here on the right. Keep up the pressure. Probably going to Bowler. Yep. Okay, I'm going to try to keep that alive as long as possible. And then I'll Dark Goblin because he's, he's, he's going to Graveyard with this for sure. So I'm going to go Ghost. I'm going to Goblin Gang. I'm going to Barrel. And then he's going to NATO, right? So if I Evo Wall Breakers the bridge, he's going to NATO my Evo Wall Breakers into the tower. Let's go! And that's game. The nice double Evo Wall Breaker connection. <laughs> Perfect prediction. I'm in the next match here against three style for life. Man, I swear I thought it was freestyle, but whatever, man. I guess this guy does what he wants when he wants. I'll just go for the wall breakers on the left. I don't know what this guy's playing, but it looks like 2.6. Man, 2.6 would probably be pretty difficult for my deck because I don't really have any good hog counters. But like I said, this deck does have a lot of outplay potential. So if there's a will... What? How did that hit my tower? Okay, I'm going to bandit here too. If there's a will, there's a way. This guy's going to be kind of starved on Elixir. I'm going to Wall Breakers here because the Bandit should dash. Oh, unfortunate. That was a good Ice Spear by him, though. Uh, at least a Wall Breaker. Never mind. This guy doesn't want to give me any damage, man. <laughs> man. I feel like that's what I would do, too, though. I don't like giving people any damage. All right. By the way, I am going to be getting my streaming phone soon. And I'll be, I will be making a new channel for streaming daily. So make sure to... Keep checking out my community tab for that. I do want to stream every day for you guys. I feel like it would be amazing and a lot of fun. A nice way to see me more, I guess. I know I've been talking about it a lot, but I'm actually going to be getting it done. And I'm going to be so proud of it as well once I actually start doing it. I'll Goblin Gang the bridge here on the right. Just try to force out the Evo Skellies. Yep, there they are. Amazing. You just have to force out the Evo Skellies in this matchup or else you're going to get completely destroyed. 
All right, nice log by him. I'm going to go for the Evo wall breakers behind this. He's really low on Elixir. He has to Ice Golem. Yeah, but now he has nothing for the Evo wall breakers. Yeah, Evo Ice Spirit's not going to cut it, dude. That's a double connection. And that's a lot of ghost hits, too. Man, I don't know why he called good game, though. I'm only up 900 damage. That's just, like, two hog hits. Fireball. All right, I'm going to go for the Goblin Gang, the bridge. Probably force out the log. Yeah, nice. All right. Looking good, honestly. I haven't won yet because he can make a comeback easy, which is Ice Golem, Hog, Fireball, Log. But still doing a good job on getting a nice early lead. I'm going to go for the Ghost Skellies here. And this should full counter it, right? I mean, Ghost and Skeletons and Tower. What? Bro, Hog Rider may need a nerf. <laughs> I'm going to Wall Breakers with that Ghost. Oh, nice Ice Spirit by him. Well played. That's stuff that I like to do with the cannon. I didn't know if this guy knew how to do it or not, but this guy seems quite good, actually. I'll go for the Ghost Skellies here again. I know it's going to get a hit again. There's nothing I can do about it. And just like that, he's already back in the game, nearly even in the damage lead. I'll Bandit here. He has to Ice Golem. I'll get the nice dash on top of it. I'll Wall Breakers, too, because a Log won't full counter those. Ooh, I'm going to get a nice double connection right there. Perfect. He's going to go for the Ice Golem Hog, though, so I need to be very careful. I'll have my Evo Skellies ready. Okay, I'll Dark Goblin here, and then Evo Skellies. I was hoping he'd hog last second, but all right. I'll go for the ghost in the back. Evil Ice Spirit will kill my Dark Goblin, unfortunately. Nice spirit by him. All right, I'm going to Dark Goblin here so he can't hog. I just need to keep stacking up cards so he can't go in. I need to kill that musk. Oh, perfect. Very bad protection by him. I'm going to Bandit here, and then I'm going to go for... No, I don't need to log. I'm good. Oh, I trusted in it. I trusted in it. I'm going to Barrel. He has to log, right? Then I go for... Oh, bad Evo Skellies. I'm going to log here myself. I'm going to be ready for the hog. Ghost, Dark Goblin, Bandit. Man, I was quick with that. He might be in a bit of trouble. Wait, that was a bad fireball. Wait, I think he just lost. I'm going to barrel here. Force up the log, right? He has no Evo Skellies. He has to log. I go, for, I go for the Goblin Gang. And then I go Evo Wall Breakers, Evo Skellies, other lane. He has to put something on these, but then my Evo Skellies can start chaining maybe. Okay, wait, Evo Wall Breakers and the Ghost on the left, the Goblin Gang. Tower down. Let's go. That missed fireball completely costed him, man. <laughs> Perfect. All right, I'm in the next game here against Constellation. Just going to bandit the back. Go for the Valkyrie. I'm pretty sure this guy's a Goblin Drill player. I swear I faced him another time in this season already oh nice barrel connection right there and those wall breakers are gonna get full countered but i'll goblin again because he's probably gonna tank for them yep there it is they always tank for it man skellies for the valkyrie all right just gonna go for the bandit at the bridge and then wall breakers on the opposite lane i want to pressure both sides yeah with him having the skeleton army it's gonna be very important to go both lanes one lane will nearly always get cleaned up by skarmy if he plays his drills well forcing out my logs i'll let his wall breakers go there's nothing i can really do about it i feel like anything i did i still would have taken one hit okay i can ghost bad drill by him man ever since that goblin drill buff i feel like i've been having such a hard time defending it Let's see what he wants to do valkyrie nice valkyrie like that he thought i'd bandit other lane at the same time that was smart maybe force out the skarmy here okay nice I can just Goblin Gang in the middle here. I'm glad this guy doesn't have Evo Skeletons, though. Evo Skeletons are such a pain for my deck. You have to log them, but by that time, I feel like they've already gotten so much value. Okay, hits. Oh, man. Even Evo Bomber full counters Goblin Barrel after the nerfs. That's so sad, dude. I'm going to Ghost here. Okay, I'm going to Evo Skellies and log. I might take a bit of damage, though. Oh, no, I didn't. Wow, perfect defense. Beautiful. Wall breakers on the left because he has to defend both sides, and I don't think he can now. Yeah, nice. I'm gonna get some roller ghost damage. It's all about getting damage on both lanes. Always gotta keep your options open with that kind of stuff in this matchup. Okay, I'm gonna barrel here in the back because if he Valkyries the front, it won't counter both. Oh, nice bomber. I need to be careful again of the goblin drill and then wall breakers behind the Valk. I just banned it early. Yep, I knew it. I'll just log here too. Ooh, nice drill placement. Gonna Goblin Gang just to get that. He just made me force out another card. I'm gonna Dark Goblin here. He's gonna have to waste his Valkyrie. He might lose right here, though, to be honest. I'm gonna Goblin Barrel, right? Force out the Valkyrie, then Bandit here on the right, and then Wall Breakers. He has to Fireball, and GG's. He has no Elixir. That's game. He has nothing for that. 
He knows it too. Yep, GG's. <laughs> Perfect pressure right there. I'll see you guys in the next match. All right, we're up against Vahad here. Okay, this guy actually finished really well with Giant Graveyard last season, so I have to be careful. Giant Graveyard's not going to be a good matchup for my deck at all. I don't really have any quick high damaging units. I do have a lot of bait cards though, which could be quite annoying for him because he only has arrows and snowball. The only problem here is that Little Prince kind of acts as like another spell. Always very hard for me to get through that card. He does have to defend the ghost though. Giant? That was a bad giant. I'm going to wall breakers here. Either get a double connection or force out the arrows. Nice. Now he can't go in anymore because if he goes for the graveyard, I have Dark Goblin. I'll just band it. Okay, I'm going to Dark Goblin too. I'm going to Ghost opposite lane to pressure while defending. This should be quite awkward for him to defend, actually. Yeah, he, wait, what? Why does he have a skeleton army? Hello? Uh, I didn't think he had that. That's kind of weird, I guess. Wait, he doesn't have archers or bats. He has no evolutions. Wow, okay, I'm going to barrel here on the right. He snowballs on the left, but... I do get a bit of damage, at least. I can band it for the Dark Prince. I do not know why he has no evolutions, but I'm not complaining. If anything's going to help me, it's going to be the no evolutions. If he had evolutions, I'd probably get wrecked, because this deck has nothing for bats. A wall breaker's behind the bandit just to force out another... What the heck? <laughs> nice. I'll take that connection right there. I was not expecting that, that's for sure. Okay, I'm going to ghost other lane, especially now that he put the LP in the back. That was a bad LP, because I have Evo Skellies for that. He has no Dark Prince either. He doesn't really have anything for that. Yeah, that was awkward for him. I'll just go for my Dark Goblin here in the middle. I can Evo Skellies for that ability. I think he just... Man, that was not a good ability. Okay, I'm going to band it. I'm going to go for the Goblin Barrel here. He's probably not trying. It is just early season. I'm going to Evo Wall Breakers behind these skeletons. Oh, he missed a Snowball! Oh my god, any arrows on the evil wallbreakers? The evil skeletons? Oh my god, the evil skellies and the evil wallbreakers got a ton of damage on the right because he messed up the timing. Yeah, this is game over. LP's dead. I'm going to go for the bandit, the goblin gang. I need to keep up the pressure here. Ghost. Ooh. <laughs> I'm pretty good at that. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to wallbreakers here. And this is going to be GG's, man. Let's tower down. Oh my god, and he missed it. I don't think he could have hit, hit all that, to be honest. Well, that is going to be a good game, so I will see you guys in the next match. Alright, I'm here against Nida. Man, if he if this guy loses this, he actually must, like, I don't even know what to tell him, dude. This guy could have a stroke in the middle of the game and still win this matchup, I'm going to be honest. I'm just going to band it here to kite those bats other lane. There's no way that I can win this all wall breakers, but he's just going to eat it and go Eagle of Night Witch, and I lost. Wow. Man, this is just like the E-Giant season all over again. Dude, what do you want me to do? I swear to God, he could have a stroke, come back, and still win this game. I'm dead. I'm three-crowned. Well, that was a fun one, I guess. <laughs> wow. Clash Royale is a very skill-based and strategic game. Um, okay then. Why am I even still trying? What am I doing? Man, <laughs> I'll see you guys. Well, honestly, I'm, I'm just going to try because maybe it's an E-Golem player. Maybe he could get three crowns somehow, but I'm not counting on it, man. I'm going to wall breaker is here and just hope I get him with Evo Skeleton somehow. Bandit so I don't get three crowned. Dude, it's just I have no chance. There's no, like, there's just no possibility of me winning this. Yup, he just goes bats to clean up early and it's over. I'm going to barrel here. He's, he's just going to ignore it and just E-Golem my king. Yep, that's literally what he's going to do. He's not going to defend anything. He's just going to eagle on my king. Wow, this was a lot of fun. Having a blast right now playing Clash Shell, my favorite skill-based game. <laughs> yep, he even knows it too. But like, okay, I don't, like, I haven't even told you guys, but, like, I swear good game is BM because there was no good in that game. Like, I'd rather him just laugh at my face than say good game there because there was nothing good about that, dude. All right, in the next match here against Issei, just going to split my wall breakers here and see what he's playing. He does usually play P.E.K.K.A., but I faced him earlier with RG, and I completely destroyed him. Guy does not know how to play RG. I'm just going to go for the Ghost, and then I'm going to Log as well. Oh, he snowballs to get a connection. Pretty aggressive snowball, I'm not going to lie. This is definitely not the deck you want to be going extra aggressive against to get early chip damage. Okay, he has to defend that still unless he eats it. He eats it, wow, smart by him. I'm just going to go for the Skellies here to get to my Evo quicker. I'm going to split Wall Breakers. He's going to E-Wiz. I'll ban it to predict the E-Wiz. 
<laughs> nice bandit prediction on the e -Wiz. Okay, that is going to connect. Okay, he goes for the bandit. I'm going to barrel other lane. He has no barb barrel. No snowball. Goes for the ram rider. Okay, this guy just lost. It's over. I'm just going to evo skellies on the ram rider, and there's nothing he can do. Because that's just such a... He has a snowball. I'm going to go for the evil wall breakers goblin gang that's towered down. He has nothing for that. <laughs> Man, see, that's what I mean. You don't go too aggressive against his deck. You go too aggressive against his deck, and you lose your entire tower. As long as I don't lose to the next push, I'm golden. Oh, he gives up. Well, GG's. Thank you guys, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.